When we're learning a new skill, say riding a bike or barefoot running or becoming the person you really want to be, there are four stages that we go through. And there's even a fifth bonus stage if you can reach it. The first is unconscious incompetence. The second is conscious incompetence. The third is conscious competence. And the fourth is unconscious competence. And I'll save the fifth for the last. In unconscious incompetence, we don't have any idea of what we're doing. We have no idea what the right way to do it is. When we move to conscious incompetence, we see how to do it. We kind of understand it, but we still can't do it. So we try to imitate what that competence would be like, and we repeat it over and over. And eventually we can get to conscious competence, where we can do the activity, but we kind of think about it. We can kind of pay attention to be able to do it, but we can do it. After we get enough repetition at that level, we can get to unconscious competence, where we really don't have to think about it that much. We just do it. With physical activities, this is the muscle memory. With general behaviors in life, these are habits. And if we make it to this level, we are doing very well in that activity. Now, that fifth bonus stage we call enlightenment competence. This is when you no longer think about it at all. And not only can you do the activity, the lines between you and the activity blur, you become the activity. Remember kids, necessity is the mother invention and repetition is the mother of skill.